Uh, I can't even begin. No, no, no. Another beautiful day in Maine, as you can see. Today is... What is today? What's today? Today is Wednesday. It's fine. The campers got here Monday. So they've been... No, Sunday. There's some kind of time warp going on here. I don't understand. I just know that I'm very confused. So the campers got here Sunday. But, you know, camp officially started Monday. So it's been two days. And already I feel like death warmed up. For instance, Monday I worked 17 hours. I got 20 minutes to myself throughout the day from 7am until 12am. I worked flat out and I had 20 minutes free and I was like, dude, I don't know if I want to take a nap or if I want to shower. This is the point I'm at, that I'm prepared to smell as long as I can take a nap. Today is different because it's a rainy day, so a lot of activities got cancelled. It worked out really well for me because it meant that I got the morning off, but then instead of napping, which would have been the logical thing to do because I am beyond exhausted, I decided to go to the gym. Do you ever see those um, like meme things on Instagram and it's like, no one ever regrets a workout? Well, I do, because now... I didn't get to nap and my thighs burn. Camp has been really good so far though, like the kids are really nice and it's really fun. Like I know that I'm complaining and mourning right now and being like, oh woe is me, I never get to sleep. But yeah, that's just because I'm tired. I don't know what's going to be happening this afternoon in terms of like activities because obviously it's raining, pouring and it's a sports camp so a lot of things need to be outside. So, I don't know. I heard talk of bingo, which I'm on board with that. Like, I can do bingo. That's fine. Ew, mascara gunk. And in other news, we went to <laughs> the laundry place last night once we finished work, like a bunch of us. Because, like, we've been here for over a week and I'm running out of so, underwear. Oh, hey! Who are you talking to? Oh, oh my vlog. Hi, vlog! Your legs oh. are in it. Oh, Come. I hope that's a good thing. Yeah, your legs look great. <laughs> I was talking about our trip to the laundry place last night oh, and how much of a fail it was. Total fail. Epic fail. We got there and it was closed, so we had basically gone on just like a random drive with a bunch of dirty underwear in the back. It is what it is. Wait, where are you? Hello. Uh, oh. Like when we got back from our failed laundry trip, we just basically. Facebook stalked a bunch of people who work here. You gotta sometimes Facebook stalk your co-workers. I think it's necessary. So now I guess I'm gonna head to lunch and then potentially bingo. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> oh yeah, it's happening, it's happening. You agreed to this. Hey! Look, this is JJ. Say hi, JJ. Hi. Look at that enthusiasm he has to be in this vlog. Do you guys hey want to be in the vlog? You gotta get in it. Oh, in the vlog? In they definitely want to be in the vlog. Yay! Look, so much enthusiasm. I want to see some serious enthusiasm, guys. Go on a dinner. So we are going to dinner in Naples. Yep. Yeah. In Naples, and that's exciting. It's Rick's, and it closes at nine. Yeah. Maybe not on a Friday though. Maybe they still open. Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> People in Maine, what do you do? So yeah, we're gonna go out for food. Who would have thought that camp counselors get to party so hard? Who would know that? And look, I got a proper face today. It's great. And I got to go to Rite Aid. That's a thing, Rite Aid. Yeah, and I got like a whole bunch of makeup for like eight pounds. I got my Rocket Volume mascara. I got some lipstick. I got some blush, and I got some nail polish. All for eight pounds. All for eight pounds. So yeah, that's that's all. That's all I have to say right now.
it's, it works. Are you vlogging? Yes. Let's get this thing going, baby. Right. I don't know if this is official nighttime camera mode, but it works. Well, I mean, <laughs> we just had end of session one dinner. We got up in our fancy clothes. <laughs> what happened to your fancy clothes, Emily? Um, oh, well, I, I got Powerade all over my fancy clothes. <laughs> oh. And now we're back in our hobo clothes <laughs> to go to the campfire. Oh. Also, this hill. Killer. <gasps> Killer. Okay, okay, let's go. I feel like we're Hi. late. This is not a good angle. Let's crouch on the floor like a weirdo, okay? Okay, so it is Sunday. Is this Sunday? No, Saturday. It's, it's Saturday. All the campers, well, most of the campers went home today. They were here three weeks, and then we shipped all those guys out, and then we got new campers coming in tomorrow. After the campfire last night, we like, there were, there were no rules. It was carnage. Like, I work with the, the little kids, the seven to ten year olds. So we went back to the dorm and it was just. It was. Insane, insane is the right word. And I was still chasing one of them around, trying to get him into his room until like 10 to 1 this morning. And then I had to get up at 5 45 to like get the kids on the bus. I'm so tired. But me and Maria are going to go with Jack, one of the other counsellors, and Paddy Mac, one of the campers who's staying for the full six weeks. We're all going to go to the drive-in tonight. Like, who even knew that there were drive-ins still? Isn't that exciting? I feel like I'm in Greece, except not as cool. Also, I realised that I didn't tell you about this thing, which is when I got a second degree burn on my arm, you can't even see it anymore. Like, I'm very impressed with how well this has healed because it was disgusting. It was a legit second degree burn. I was getting food, we were having nachos one night, and one of the kids, like, dropped a spoonful of refried beans out of, like, the, the pan onto my arm, which you might not think could possibly be that hot, but it, it just, it was. I went to see the nurse and I was like, help, I have a refried beans burn, and I guess she thought like that obviously refried beans won't be that hot, so she was like, yeah, just run it under the cold water, and it wasn't until I went back to the health center later that night and it had like swollen up and got kind of pussy and gross, and she was like, oh, wow, that was from refried beans. So yeah, I wish I'd taken a picture of it, which is really gross and disgusting, but just because it was like, it was so bad that I kind of wish that I could show people and like gross them out. Is that weird? I don't know. I'm rambling now. I'm waiting to go get some food before we head out to watch potentially Minions. I'm hoping for next session of camp. <laughs> So we are at the drive-in. Maria, get in on this. Hey. We haven't come to see Minions. No. I'm really upset no. about no. this. No. I have to see Jurassic World. How boring is that? Boring. Boring. Minions looks You're way boring. better. No, I'm not. So, that's pretty vintage. You know, I'm not a big dinosaur fan, but whatever. I'm on board. It's a warm night. I'm happy with life, pretty much. <laughs> Looks like I have a monobrow the way the shadow is. Okay, so. <laughs> Bye. Maybe I won't even get a scar, that would be nice. Or maybe I'll get a scar to match this burn scar, which I got from making a cup of tea. My scars are so boring. I have no interesting scars. Like, I'm a boring person. Soz, I'm so sorry.